Alrighty, this is what our little bathroom looks like so far. I'm just going to turn on a light here. I haven't got the cover on it yet or the wire stapled because we just did it the other day. So, here's what I did. So I have, ooh, who's that scary guy there? Anyways, I have uh, a vanity. Yep, yep. Water works in it even. A little towel rack. I have a little plug-in cord, a little plug-in uh, receptacle. I also have a nice little medicine cabinet. It opens and closes. And I installed those three lights up there. Don't those look nice? And off, on, off, on. There they work. Now I'm starting to frame this and this is what I'm framing the tub in with is just these two by fours right here. So I started framing in the bottom and it's a, and it's a whirlpool as well. So it's got jets in there. So uh, I had to build another frame up here and that's where it taps and shower uh, faucet. Is that what you call it? I guess the spray head, whatever you want to call it goes there. Then I want to build along here a little ways. And along the other side as well, come back a little ways. And then at the top here, where you get in the shower, I want to have an archway built. So it'll be an archway in there. And then we'll get our tubs around and we'll put in there. But right now, what I'm up to, and this is a used tub too, it's not brand new. It's one I got. Uh, I got the motor working, it works good now. Everything works on it. So it's good to go. So now I have to build the frame in here. That's what we're up to right now with those two by fours. And we'll see how far we get on that today. We even have a toilet. It's a used seat that I had in the old house that we used years ago. That's ours. But later on, I got rubbed up there around my tools and stuff. So it is clean, but it doesn't look the best. It's because I had rusty nuts and bolts, and it was leaning against my bolt bin up there for years. And uh, that's the toilet we had up in the old house as well, too. We reused that as well. So uh, it works. Yep, it works quite well. Um... The water, if I'm correct there, yeah, yeah, works there too. You can see it here. Yeah. Um, I don't even think the water pump's turned on right now. But it's funny though, like we don't even have to run the water pump and the back of our toilet fills up about three or four times a day just from gravity from the water running from the well all the way back and into the basin, and then it somehow it gets pressurized and it works its way up to the toilet. So we don't even need to run the water pump and we can flush that toilet at least three times a day without even running the water pump. And we have a bit of water pressure without running the water pump as well. It's not great. But now we did, we buried uh, 460 feet of inch and a quarter water line. 560? 560, sorry, not 460. 560 feet of uh, inch and a quarter water line. And it all runs downhill from the old house back to this house into the basement. But then it has to, somehow it pressurizes it and then it makes its way up here. And we're quite tickled pink about that. Hold her down there. Release the hounds! Yes, that's right, my little chickadee. Let's cut it over here. See? Oh. Oh! There we are. Now, we're gonna see if we can fit it in here. 
right, so this is all in here good. So I'm just gonna put a screw right in here, attach this. That's good. Check this out here. Hey, that looks good. I know that's leaned out that way. Sure it is, it's gotta come in here. But I was pretty sure of that. I could see it here because these lines here, that line has to line up with there. So that's something I knew. That's not a big deal. this I have to push in here to line that up because it's out of whack. Yeah, it's got to go in lots. Need you to push in on this if you can Heather. Okay. You can go over here and just push in on the top. Oh right there. Too much? Right there. That's good. Let me see. Yeah that's good. Daughter Pontiac. Well I ended up getting the last, I ended up getting two in here and one at the top. Now I need two more there, so I need one right there, tight, you can see right tight there, and then one out here. You seen where we had the bottom all framed in on this earlier, but I'll show you what I've done so far here. I'm going to turn on the light here, and boom, that's what we've done so far. So I got that all framed in around there, around the tub. I had to put a piece of 2x4 uh, up there, but we have insulation for in here, we're going to insulate this one wall here. One sheet of OSB already up there in place. Look at that. That's how she's going to be. Let's show you how much we got done today. So I finished the last little bit here tonight just around the tub. That's how that's looking. Got to, got to vacuum up some sawdust there. But that's uh, about it. We, like I said, I was saying earlier, this, this will all be, this will all be closed in here. It'll be all sheeted over with probably, uh, Cedar, yeah, our white cedar we have growing around here. So I'll cut cedar with a mill for that. There'll be a two inch cedar strip along here. It'll stick out probably about, I don't know, maybe uh, four inches maybe. Uh, it'll be four inches. So it's only really gonna stick out maybe an inch and a half. And there'll be a nice uh, routed edge along that. So cedar strips all around here. And then we'll put a nice little frame around that too. And then we have to put, of course, our, uh, have to put our taps in here. And then we have to put our um, shower head up there. And then we have to close this all in with drywall. We have mold resistant drywall, like I said. I think I said that earlier. If not, yeah, we have mold resistant drywall for this. And uh, then we have to get a tub surround. Now, it looks a little dark in there right now, but it's once we get that bright shower stall in there, it's not going to be so dark. It's going to look pretty bright in there. So, like I say, mold resistant drywall. We have already here, in fact. Um, it's inside the house, and we have some more OSB, too, to finish off the living room. But anyway, that's how that turned out. Um, you can see behind in there. Uh, I think you can see in there, yeah, a little bit of sawdust in there from working today. Uh, but, anyways... I have to put one more stud in the corner right there. And I don't know if I was saying that earlier, but we have insulation for in these studs. We're going to insulate the bathroom too, just to keep the noise down a little bit. I have my, 
I have my pine, two inch pine for my bathroom door. It's already drying in the basement. It's been down there for a while. So I should be starting on that soon. So anyway, folks, that's, that's how our little off grid bathroom is looking here. That's, uh, that's it in a nutshell. I really should go and get a new seat for this because I used to stand on this. I had stuff pile on it too. There's old nuts and bolts on it. And I really should get a top for that too or just replace the whole tank. Then once this is all done, I might put tile on the floor, I think. Maybe some kind of, maybe some kind of ceramic tile in here. I'm not sure yet. I've never done ceramic tile, but hey, I'm up for that. I've never done drywall either, but I'm going to have to try that too. So anyways, ah, let me know what you think think folks let me uh know if you think that turned out okay so far so uh that is a whirlpool too like i said so i will put a i will put an access panel in the pantry get to get to the taps that's just above the the stairs i'll put a door there then i will put an access panel in here as well in the bedroom to get to the electric motor on this whirlpool anyway that's it for this evening, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. So please, folks, hit the thumbs up. And uh, if you're new, subscribe. And as you folks take care, and we'll talk to you another time. Bye-bye, all.